Once upon a time, in a small village nestled in the mountains, there lived a wise old Zen master. He was known throughout the land for his teachings on the art of detachment, a philosophy that emphasized the importance of letting go of attachments to material possessions, emotions, and even people. One day a young man came to the Zen master seeking guidance. He was troubled by his own emotions, feeling overwhelmed by his attachment to a woman who did not reciprocate his feelings. The Zen master listened patiently to the young man's story, nodding thoughtfully as he spoke. Ah yes, said the Zen master, the art of detachment is a difficult one to master, but it is essential for emotional freedom. You must learn to let go of your attachment to this woman and to all things that cause you suffering. The young man was skeptical. But how can I just let go of my feelings? He asked. It's not that simple. The Zen master smiled. It is simple but not easy. You must learn to observe your emotions without judgment and to let them pass through you like clouds in the sky. You must detach yourself from the outcome and focus on the present moment. The young man nodded but he still felt unsure. But what if I never find love again? He asked. The Zen master chuckled. Love is not something you find, my young friend. It is something that you cultivate within yourself. When you detach yourself from the outcome, you open yourself up to the possibility of love in all its forms. The young man pondered this for a moment, then asked, But what about material possessions? Shouldn't we strive to acquire wealth and success? The Zen master shook his head. Material possessions are fleeting, my friend. They bring temporary pleasure, but they do not bring lasting happiness. The art of detachment teaches us to find joy in the present moment and to let go of our attachment to things that do not serve us. The young man left the Zen master feeling inspired, but also a little overwhelmed. The art of detachment was not an easy path, but he knew it was the right one for him. He began to practice mindfulness and meditation, learning to observe his emotions without judgment and to let them pass through him like clouds in the sky. Over time he found that his attachment to the woman had lessened and he was able to find joy in other areas of his life. He discovered that the art of detachment was not about giving up on love or success, but about finding a deeper sense of fulfillment and freedom within himself. As he let go of his attachment to the woman, he began to see the world in a new light. He noticed the beauty in small moments and found gratitude in everyday experiences. He realized that his happiness was not dependent on external factors, but rather on his own perspective and mindset. With this newfound understanding, he was able to approach life with a sense of ease and grace, knowing that he had the power to create his own happiness. And so the young man continued on his journey, practicing the art of detachment and finding peace in the present moment. He knew that it was a lifelong practice, but he also knew that it was worth it. For in the end, the art of detachment led to emotional freedom and a life filled with joy and contentment.